In an August 13th memorandum detailing the updated information for COVID-19 vaccination exemptions, the Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Narain Singh, said that pregnant women, breastfeeding mothers, people who received blood donations and transfusions, and patients with underlying conditions could be exempted from getting vaccinated. Breastfeeding mothers specifically who do not wish to be vaccinated were allowed to be exempted for a period of six months from the date of delivery. On Thursday, however, the CMO told the newsroom that the exemptions were changed because there is new evidence now showing that it is much safer for more groups of people to get vaccinated. Has that changed? Well, we have changed it now because it is new evidence now. There's a, late, there's a recent um, release from CDC and the WHO mm. that there's more evidence that it is safe. Initially, we were cautious because when we start vaccinating up in early March this year, we were, you know, I mean, there wasn't enough strong evidence, but now with more evidence, those exemptions are not being encouraging pregnant women to, to, um, to, to get vaccinated. Additional evidence, he said, has found that it is also safe for other groups of people that were previously exempted to get vaccinated. Additionally, if these groups of people are not vaccinated, they will be required to produce a negative PCR COVID-19 test result before they are allowed to enter most buildings. The CMO also said that the exemptions led to many people with underlying conditions applying for exemption certificates. But he stressed that people with these underlying conditions are the ones who need to get vaccinated because they are more vulnerable to experiencing the more severe or life-threatening forms of COVID-19. This revelation that the exemptions had been repealed was made on Thursday during the daily COVID-19 update with the Health Minister, Dr. Frank Antony. Then, Dr. Antony stated that there are probably two reasons for getting vaccination exemptions. Those reasons, he explained, would be if an individual is allergic to a vaccine or if an individual is allergic to some ingredient of the vaccine. For more, mo most of the other medical conditions, um, almost 99% of medical conditions, it's not a contraindication uh, for you to get vaccinated. So if there's that tiny 1% of people, if you fall within that very small category, then um, the doctor who is seeing you should advise, and those letters should come to the CMO for a counter signature, and then we'll be able to grant it. But this would be a very, very rare event. When asked by the newsroom if his statements signal that the CMO's vaccination exemptions were repealed, Dr. Anthony said that they have been repealed for a long time. According to him, those exemptions were no longer included in the COVID-19 emergency measures published in the official Gazette. Meanwhile, the government is now using the U.S.-approved Pfizer vaccine to inoculate pregnant and breastfeeding mothers. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Vishani Ragabir.